Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the United States Air Force's first women pilots, Colonel Wendy Rogers. I salute all of you for being here today. I represent Veterans for a Strong America. And we stand together in support of Donald Trump. 35 years ago, here at this airfield, I flew and was privileged to undergo United States Air Force pilot training when it was Williams Air Force Base, right here at this airfield. And who was our president then? Reagan. What an honor to wear the uniform and to fly under a president who knew what it meant to be a wartime president, a warrior who defended our country, who had backbone, who was resolute, who supported our friends and let our enemies know who they were. We need a wartime president again. We need someone who will stand up and honor those of us who wear the uniform. We will go to hell and back. We will salute smartly and do what we're told. But we need a commander in chief who understands, who won't apologize, who will stand up for America. I'm the daughter, the granddaughter, the great granddaughter of United States Army combat veterans all the way back to the Civil War. My great great grandfather lay on the battlefield almost to die and then earned a battlefield commission. And I remember a quote that Lincoln said to his journalists when asked about Ulysses S. Grant. And he said, I can't spare him because he fights. We need a man who will fight for us as well. And then fast forward to my own father, who graduated on D-Day from West Point and fought under General George Patton and General Patton's Third Army in the Battle of the Bulge. And to me, this is Donald Trump, because this is what George Patton said. We herd sheep. We drive cattle. We lead people. Lead me. Follow me. Or get out of my way. Let's make sure that we stop the era of a feckless, reckless, aimless, rudderless commander-in-chief. We are proud to wear the uniform. We are proud to be Americans. Let's tell the rest of the world in who we elect as our next president. Thank you.